Hello, I'm Solomon with Bob Johnson's Computer Stuff Inc. Today's parts replacement is the 56K modem for the Panasonic Toughbook CF30. Check the description below for the model number of this unit. Also, stay tuned in for the duration of the video for our 5% off coupon code, valid at bobjohnson.com. First step, you'll need to remove the screws for the keyboard bezel. The screws have been marked with red circles. Next, pry the keyboard bezel from the side with a screwdriver to lift the bezel up. Then place the bezel to the side. Next, lift the keyboard out of place. Depending on which model CF30, you may either have to pry up the keyboard or push up on the keyboard. Next, we're going to remove the keyboard cable cover and the LCD cable cover, but first we will have to remove the hinge cover. To do this, we need to remove the screw on the back of the Toughbook CF30. Now, lay your Toughbook back down flat and open your display back up. There should be a single screw holding the hinge cover in place. Remove the screw marked with the red circle. Then lift the hinge cover and place it to the side. Next, remove the LCD cable cover screws, which have been marked with red circles. Then lift the LCD cable cover. This will reveal the cables and connectors. Disconnect both. Now we are going to remove the screws for the keyboard cable cover. The screws have been marked with red circles. Then lift the KB cable cover up and place it to the side. We are now going to disconnect the two keyboard cables from the system board. You must push the clips forward in order to remove the ribbon cables. Once you've disconnected both cables, then remove the keyboard for now. Afterwards, you will need to remove a screw underneath where the keyboard bezel was. It should be covered with tape. Remove this screw marked by the red circle. This will free up the system board. After this step, we're going to close our display and then remove the back plate. There are 17 screws in total which need to be removed. The screws have been marked with red circles. Then remove the back plate. We're first going to remove the USB board in the corner of the CF30. First, disconnect the cable connecting to the USB board. Then remove the screw connecting the USB board to the system board. Next, we're going to remove the screws for the system board chassis. There are six screws in total which need to be removed. Some are not visible and require further disassembly. The visible screws have been marked with red circles. Next, we're going to remove this peripheral here. But to do so, you have to disconnect these ribbon cables and remove this board. I will zoom in so you can have a better look. First, remove the tape covering the connector. Then push out the clips to remove the ribbon cables. Disconnect both ribbon cables. Once you disconnect the ribbon cables, then you will be able to see a third ribbon cable underneath.
There are two screws for the peripheral that need to be removed. The screws have been marked with red circles. At this point, you must also disconnect the CMOS battery or you could also disconnect the CMOS battery from the board. We are just going to disconnect the CMOS battery instead. Now we are going to disconnect all the connecting ribbon cables and peripherals, but first we're going to remove the protective covers and electrical tape. This allows us more room to work. We're going to remove the part here by removing the screws marked with the red circles, then lifting the part out of place. Now we have to disconnect the two ribbon cables connecting to the system board and remove the wire connecting the bottom of the system board. We are also going to remove the screws for this part. The screws have been marked with red circles. Now we have to disconnect the wires underneath this cover here, where the antenna wires lead going into the system board. As you can see, here the antenna wires connecting to the touchpad PCB and then run underneath the chassis and then to the single pass through antenna here. Let's disconnect these cables now. Now we must remove the cover for the system board wires. Be careful not to tear this cover, but you should be able to remove this cover. But keep in mind that the cover will eventually lose its stick. Underneath this cover you will see an orange ribbon cable. Disconnect this cable and underneath that cable you will see a silver cable that also must be disconnected. Also disconnect the two ribbon cables connecting to the I.O. board. Let's quickly go to the top of our Panasonic Toughbook CF30. Underneath the keyboard cable cover, if you see a Bluetooth ribbon cable or antenna cable still connected, please disconnect those cables now. Be sure to also double check your peripherals and make sure that nothing is in these slots, such as dummy cards, etc. Now at this point, the system board should be free enough to remove from the Toughbook frame. The 56K modem is located underneath the system board chassis. Let's turn over the system board now. The 56K modem is located here. To replace the 56K modem, we are going to remove the screws marked with the red circles. There should be four screws in total which need to be removed. And that's the 56K modem. Stay tuned in for part two as we show you how to replace the old 56K modem with the new one and also how to reassemble your Panasonic Toughbook CF30. 
If this video was helpful for you, then please let us know in the comments. Also, if you have any questions, feel free to comment below. Any feedback is appreciated. Until next time, thanks for tuning into Bob Johnson's Computer Stuff. Thanks for watching today. For more repair videos, click the link below. And remember, if you have a screwdriver, you can fix a computer. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel.